G'day legends, g'day superstars, Peps here with Tip Doubts. Round four tips for a massive week of footy with every single game being played in the beautiful state of South Australia for the 2024 edition of Gather Round. And it all kicks off this Thursday night, Thursday, April 4th, the Demons versus the Adelaide Crows at the home of South Australian football, the Adelaide Oval, 7.40 p.m. There's not really much that can be said about this particular game. The Ds are absolutely flying over the last three weeks, had some cracking wins, and their win against Port Adelaide was a dead set ripper. And the Adelaide Crows have been nothing short of disappointing so far in season 2024. Are they a chance? You'd have to say, at home, maybe a smidge, but I think the Ds will clip their wings once again, they did surprise the Ds a couple of years ago. If you remember when they won nine in a row, the Crows were able to beat them and pinch another win. But I don't think it's going to happen in Gather Round this week. And I think the Ds are going to take this one out by a minimum of 30 to 40 points. Their forward line has been firing. They were absolutely gorgeous in front of goals last week. And Adelaide, they are struggling. And I think the Ds will be way too strong for the Crows this week. They were fantastic last week. May should come in. Chamberlain might have a bit of an injury. Uh, I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. 30 to 40 point win and everyone is going to be happy. The Ds are just going to continue heading into their bye. <laughs> and that means the second game of Gather Round is going to be happening at 5.10pm Friday evening. And that's going to be between the Brisbane Lions and the North Melbourne Kangaroos. Now, two very, very disappointing teams so far for 2024, but for various reasons. Many had the Brisbane Lions taking out the premiership in 2024, but it's a bit hard to do when you're winless after four rounds of footy. And it's very, very difficult for North Melbourne to garner up the ladder if they don't have a backline. So here's a random idea. Kane Corns, I think, brought this one up. What they should do is throw the kitchen sink, and I'm talking about the kangaroos here, throw the kitchen sink at getting Sam Taylor from GWS to bolster up their back line. And then once they've signed that off, the Brisbane Lions should then take that kitchen sink and throw it at their forwards because they have done absolutely nothing so far in 2024. But when you have a look at these two teams, you have to go with a team who we probably trust a little bit more. And it's hard to say with both of these teams when they haven't won a game. But I'm going with the Brisbane Lions. They should bounce back, get a bit of uh, confidence heading into the weekend. Let's say a five-goal win. Anything less than that will be a disappointment, let me say that. So North are going to continue on their losing streak. Brisbane are going to win basically through default, but don't write too much home about it. We'll have to head for the week after. All righty. 8, 10 p.m. This is going to be an absolute ring-a-ding-dinger. The Port Adelaide Power versus the Essendon Bombers. Essendon Edge. It came back. It was sharp against the Saints. And they sliced and diced through their defense to get the win. Drake Stringer was sensational. And Nick Martin, even with his freebie kicks coming out of fullback, it was as well too. Port Adelaide, hold your heads up high. That was a pretty good game you played against the Ds. Unfortunately, you just could not convert in front of the goals. And that's what it eventually cost you. If Port Adelaide play like they did last week, they are going to win this one quite easily. But here is my upset alert. I think that the Essendon Bombers, if they serve up what they did last week, will beat Port Adelaide on Friday, 8, 10 p.m. Write that one down, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Peps from Tipped Out has said that Essendon will win this game against Port Adelaide. I liked what I saw. They were harder. They were faster at the ball. And they converted, which is really important. Now, are they able to do it two weeks in a row? That is the question. I do trust Port Adelaide, but I'm not convinced at this moment. And this is a game that they may, and I think that they will, um, drop off. And I think Essendon are going to win this one by the barest margin of three points. So slot that one in. All righty. Next game, Saturday, April 6th. At the Adelaide Hills, it is 1.30 p.m. The West Coast Eagles versus the Sydney Swans. I'm not going to spend too much time with it because you know what? There's no point. Sydney by 10 goals minimum. West Coast a poo. Um, this team only won a premiership six years ago, and now they can't even get off the bottom of the ladder. They are struggling big time. Changes need to be made. Sydney, they were beaten by a much more determined, stronger team in the Richmond uh, Tigers last week. And thus, I'm saying that Sydney will bounce back. They will bounce back hard. And at the traditional home of these two, the Adelaide Hills, anything may happen, but it won't. It'll be a minimum 10 goals. Logan McDonald to kick an absolute bag and Isaac Heaney to have it on a string. All right. 4.20 p.m. at the Adelaide Oval, Fremantle Dockers versus Carlton. Now, this, 
I'm looking at, because Fremantle have surprised us all so far in 2024. Everybody thought that they were going to be bottom of the ladder. They've come out 3-0, and zero, haven't lost a game. Someone is going to be losing a game after this weekend. And on, geez, I'll tell you what, Carlton, they are looking mighty fine at the moment. Will the Dockers be able to stand up against a rampaging hard unit such as the Carlton Blues? I think they can. I think the Fremantle Dockers might be able to pinch this one and throw a bit of a ripple in the Duna that is the covering of the Carlton Blues. Now, I don't know why I'm picking them. I just think that Fremantle are on a bit of a roll at the moment. When you've got Sarong, Bracewell, Jackson absolutely killing it. Um, and when you've got your bloody forward line of um, Jai and Miss Tabernar, Fife's playing some great footy as well too. Even Mickey Walters has been on a bit of string at the last couple of weeks. I reckon they are a chance. But don't get me wrong. When you've got the Twin Towers of McCur Mackay and Kurnow down there, uh, Weedering is back. You've got Cripps running through the middle. Acres on the wing. They've got so much goodness around the field. It's going to be a, a, it's going to be an arm wrestle this particular game. But I'm just tipping Fremantle in another one of my mini upsets for round five. Remember, it's gather round. No one's home team except for Port Adelaide and Adelaide. So no one's on their home decks. Anything could happen, and in this round, it probably will. All right, 8, 10 p.m. at the Adelaide Oval. Straight after it, another belter of a game. The Western Bulldogs versus the Cats. Doggies came back, uh, smashed West Coast, but it was only West Coast. And Geelong had a really hard-fought game against the Hawks on Easter Monday. So who do I think is going to take this one out? Well, I don't know. I just think it's going to be who's going to convert better in front of goals. The Doggies have a sensational midfield, sensational forward line. They should be able to take it out. But going up against a big guy that's Tommy Hawkins and Jeremy Cameron is going to be a challenge for any back line. And I think when I look at them, who do I trust more? And I just think at the moment, the Geelong Cats are playing better footy. They were awesome, like I said, against the their first quarter against the Hawks on the weekend. Just blew everybody out of the water. And Tanner Bruin... He's a very nice boy. He's a very good footballer. And I like the way he's uh, cutting as well too. Brad Close has been sensational as well too. And I just think that they're going to be so much better um, away from home. And I think that they're going to take this one out by three or four goals as well too. All right, let's head into Sunday. Oh, the expansion teams. Where are we going to play them? Out at the Adelaide Hills. This should have been an Adelaide, this should have been an Adelaide Oval game. Gold Coast Suns versus GWS. Both teams are going to be fresh. Both teams had the week off. Who can I see winning this one? I'm going for another upset. I'm going for the GWS Giants to lose to the Gold Coast Suns. Don't ask me why. I've got no idea why. But anything can happen in Gather Round, and why not? I reckon the Gold Coast, they're going to be spewing after their last loss. Um, they were absolutely woeful. Uh, GWS are just sitting on top of the ladder going, how yeah, easy is this? And the Gold Coast Suns will want to come back after the putridness that they showed uh, a couple of weeks ago as well too. I love Raul, love Anderson, love Witsy will be back as well, which will make a massive difference for them. They've got some guns up forward, they've got the guns down back, but when you've got Jesse Hogan in career form, you've got, uh, like I said, you've got massive Sam Taylor down there causing absolute issues uh, for any forward who's going to step down. Tom Green in the middle, Whitfield coming off back, uh, Cornelio's in best form, Callum Brown down forward. They've got so many weapons, but I just think Gold Coast could pinch one here. And don't be surprised if they do. I'm going by less than a goal, uh, and something is going to shake up uh, the forward or set up the ladder for weeks to come. All right, 3.20 p.m., Australian Eastern Standard Time, Richmond versus St. Kilda. Can Richmond do it two weeks in a row, or will the Saints bounce back after getting cut up by the Essendon Edge? I'm going with the Saints over this one. I just think that they're, they're going to rue. Max King will be back after suspension. Richmond are going to be out without Bolter. They're going to be out without Lynch. It's going to make it too hard for them. St. Kilda have been really good so far this season. It was a blip on the radar, but you know what? Everybody has one. You're entitled to have one. As long as they come back and don't make the same mistakes that they've done, they'll win this one. They'll win this one quite easily by three or four goals as well, too. I love what Snags Higginson is doing. I uh, love what Mitchie Owens is doing as well, too. But, hey, Adam Uze, congratulations on your first win. I didn't pick it last week. I thought that Sydney would have won it by a, a, a massive amount. But that was sensational. They were hard of the ball. But when you use, lose basically your best backman and your best forward, it's going to make it very, very hard to kick a winning score and stop it at the other end. So I'm going with the Saints just for the sheer weight of numbers. What a cracking game. This one will be Adelaide Oval 5, 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time again. Collingwood versus the Hawks. Hawks were okay on the weekend against uh, Geelong. If you take the first quarter out, they were pretty competitive for the remainder of it. 
Collingwood, though, they're going to have a few extra days rest as well, too. Uh, they got their first win. They'll get two in a row. Uh, they'll just be a lot stronger at the ball. I'm still not convinced at the moment. They are a little bit away from what they've been serving up last year. And those close wins, I don't think that they're going to be winning as many of them. But just sheer weight of numbers, they're going to have more on the park. They're going to have more experience on the park. And I just think that uh, when I look at the two teams, even though their performances so far this year haven't been great, you just got to go with the the Magpies. Six goals, minimum, Hawks. Sam Mitchell, you, you're going in the right direction, but your list just isn't there at the moment. And unfortunately for the Hawks supporters, it's going to be another week of sheer pain. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. That's Tip Peps from Tipped Out. Make sure that you join, subscribe, ring the bell, get my tips every single week. We don't worry about stats. We just go by what our heart says and what we saw with our eyes the week before. I got five out of the eight last week. A couple of surprises threw me out, but you know what? That's why we love our footy. So there you go. That's Tipped Out's round four, the gather round. Round of footy, my tips. I hope your team wins. Good luck, listeners.